Hey everybody, I know this isn't the right overlay and I'm setting this up as we go, but that's because I was doing sound stuff the entire time because hashtag professional streamer and I own it. That's right, I own I'm it. I'm Oscar now. You can't hit me with it because I own it. I know. <gasps> I'm Chris Ellen? Wait, oh, hell you? yeah. No, you're Dang, not. Dang, I just gotta level up. Wait, no, no, you I'm just Elijah. got demoted. Yeah, you all got demoted in different ways. Oh yeah. Damn. Uh, who has to blink their camera? Probably me. Yeah, you do. It's almost always me in it. Yeah, nope, nope, no, it? you, you need nope, to be last. It's, oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so it's Rena and then you. Okay. Oh, Rena, you need to, uh, yeah, there we go. Now Rena's up. Hey, must be Are we the... good now? Yeah. First try. Yeah. Must be the money. All right, cool. What's up? How you guys doing? I love this shirt. It's, 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 see, I love the shirt so much. It's so Thank you. beat up and old. That like it has like holes like in the armpit over here and like another one like over here. So, like, oh, that one's worse! Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! I have to wear like a shirt underneath this to wear it. I love this shirt so much. One of my favorite parts about this shirt is I got it for free because I got it when I was um uh I think I think it was before I ever became a manager. I think I got it when I was like 20 years old as like a bartender, and um because uh, it's like a a beer shirt, and uh, I still have it because it's very comfortable and makes me happy. So I don't care if there's like little, so you can see little holes here and, and here and the whole thing's like all worn down, but you know what I mean? Like that's, this is supposed to be solid letters, but you know, makes me happy. I think it looks better not solid actually. So I, I quickly want to proclaim that I am one of the worst liars in the history of mankind. I don't believe you. <laughs> Rena can vouch for me. I don't, I don't, dude. <laughs> I'm like, okay, when he's not playing a character, I feel like Tyler's just, he's, you know, I yeah, would not make lying part of your, like, regular thing. Rena, you misunderstand. Not something I think that you could do, like. <laughs> Rena, you misunderstand. Tyler is a character. <gasps> Whoa, wait, what? Whoa, don't, sh he just broke the fourth wall. His real dude. name Chill. is Wade. Chill. Oh! <laughs> this hair. It's, it's a wig. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was a wig. Mm. Oh my God, that's it. That's the stream right there. Y'all just learned the, the truth. <laughs> mm. I can sass tattered. I sass tattered because tattered called me out. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hi guys. Was How was good. your week? Uh, Actually fast. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Well, hold on. Is that good, or do you, are, are you like do you enjoy your Monday to Friday? Or are you like no? No, no I, I wait for Fridays to get here. That's what I do. <laughs> You're full on office Wait, space. Yeah. Yeah. I'm waiting right. for Friday. Yeah. Right, I've never I, had a, I've never maintained a Monday to Friday job. I've always had a job where my days off are either scattered or in the week in the middle of the week. So I've never had like a I can't wait till Friday's over kind of. That's never made sense to me as a as a personal perspective versus like, I obviously can comprehend what it means. What were you saying, Tyler? Uh, I was going to say my week started off stressful and then got uh, good um, by the end. I have a big stressful thing tomorrow though, but. Is it a good stressful or bad stressful? It's a work stressful that my face isn't shown. So, so it's like, it's like um, I'm working as a production essentially manager for an event for four hours on saturday and it's just going to be stressful because i'm coordinating a lot of stuff um do you have good communication with the people that you're coordinating with i have good communication for sure on the one side that i i uh am glad that i have on but on the front side i don't know them that well so it'll be interesting hmm. that's that, that's the hard part whenever there's bad communication like pretty much any conversation with messy. Oh, the whole really planning difficult. for this thing was pretty rough, but yeah. Fun, fun. I know Messi, you can't say too much. <laughs> so, uh, very boring and uneventful. Although I'll save whoa, whoa, it for the on. end. But hold on, hold on. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Did you see her? Huh? Yeah, sure. Did you see her? Yep. No, really? Did you? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Rena, what am I talking about? Uh, no, I didn't see the girl from last week. No. Okay. 
<laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh. I wouldn't have known. I, I, I was like, I have I no idea. Too. Now I understand it. I was like, wait, what? I forgot. Oh, her. Oh, her. Oh, yeah. no. Jesus <laughs> Christ. I'm like, what are you guys doing? Come on. You're the is... only one that remembered. <laughs> of course I remembered. It was an awesome story. It was I a great story. story. Dude, this Thanks, bro. I told Brittany about it. I think Green and I were preoccupied. <laughs> we were like, uh, what? What are you talking about? Oh, man. Now, well, you guys That's giving two each other D&D eyes. sessions ago and multiple streams ago. I forgot. <laughs> Who knows what day it is? Oh, come on. That was such a, I, I'm not even joking. Like, I remember telling Brittany that story. I was like, oh, listen to what happened to Messi. And she's like, oh, cute. You, and, you no. think of her every time you look at the dent in your car? No. no just... I actually totally forgot about that whole story until just now. <laughs> it was, he probably looks at it and goes, man, it probably would have hurt to get ran by her physically. My <laughs> car. Damn. I just want to say, my car isn't a beater car by any standards, but I got a few dents and scrapes on there, and I don't know how half of them got there, so I really don't really think about it anymore. See, kids, this is why you don't drink and drive. Wow. Ouch. Run me over, That's mommy. A joke. Messi does oh, not man. drink and drive. Oh, my God. Run me over, yeah, You know what? <laughs> oh, man. All That's right. That's good. Well, then. Um, so anyone in the chat watch the boys because this episode this week was pretty good i just want to do the whole stream on that i don't know what that's the boys cool. is so it's not Dude, you would actually I love it i'm really surprised to watch it but i did get to watch back again the epic rp between rena and messi last week thanks cringe I, uh, yeah it was kind of cringy I don't know. Maybe just see, seeing myself. This is why I don't watch good. like past like sessions. But I think character wise, yeah. Rena. No, it's cringe that you go huh? and rewatch her sessions. That's what's cringe. Oh. I've been doing this for four years. Yeah. I can't watch my sessions either. I, yeah. Just, like, <laughs> like, oh man, this guy's <laughs> awful. It's ha that happened, <laughs> and then we're moving on. <laughs> I, 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 I actually didn't watch it back. I just wanted to comment again about the great RP that happened last week, but. Well, thanks. So fun. You guys we caught him in the lie, boys. I can't, I can't watch myself except for like figuring out a title for a video, <laughs> which I posted a video this week. In Ooh. case you were wondering. Yeah, imagine editing yourself for like 16 hours, and that's every one of my videos, and they still come out like shit. It's insane. I'm so good at making shit. I mean, that, that's great. I usually just order Chinese food if I want to make shit. But I just eat Taco Bell, but or I edit. Either way. Um, it's yeah, all diarrhea. I hear you on that. <laughs> um, yeah. Did you guys listen to the uh, the new um, official um, intro and outro of the unofficial um, uh, uh, Rayward Dude, Apologist podcast? they haven't podcast? posted in two weeks. I no. know. I was looking did for one today. Song? Did you hear the song? No, I, I didn't hear the song. Mm -hmm. oh, I if you're in the Discord, which I'll totally pop that link right in two seconds. If you're in the Discord and you go to uh, the art showroom and scroll up a little bit to the SoundCloud link that's right there... Um, All right. A thing was made. Um, Can you bump uh, it? I'm, I'm seeing. Wait. Uh, I saw things I probably shouldn't have seen. <laughs> I mean, technically. Oh, that's your whole family, speaking, huh? I don't have. <laughs> I don't have proof to. Uh, I said I didn't get permission to, to to put it on there, so I I, I can't oh. just play it. So because it belongs to an artist. But uh, there's a lot of photos of you in here. What is this? <laughs> there, there are a lot of um. There are a lot. Of I photos. can't look at the new I, moon I, one. No, it's so bad. Is it? Is it turn the music up yep, by? Yep. Go ahead. Okay. Oh, God. Yeah, just listen to that right. real quick. If you want to share that link in okay. Twitch. Fuck! It's so loud. Hold on. Holy shit! I gotta turn my SoundCloud down. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know what's happening, but. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I didn't make it, okay? <laughs> you laughing during it just makes it, dude. I gotta mute him. Oh my god. The part is like when I listen to it, I can literally hear myself because I know when I say these things and I put on the DJ Meissen voice, 
I'm looking at Jake and Jake is just laughing. And so I'm fighting back laughing while saying words so I can hear myself in my own tone fighting back the laughter from looking at Jake reacting. And it just, uh, it, it kills me every time because it, it makes me, I don't know. I don't know, it's just one of those moments that, that we share together, you know? Anyways. It's oh, impressive, God. it's pretty good. I just oh. finished it. Yeah. Oh, now, that's great. <laughs> I just want to talk about real quick just the the idea of someone who doesn't have the context of what that is stumbles across that song and and just wants to know what did what did he do <laughs> for this dance pop beat and and this this lyric combination it feels like it almost feels like neo <gasps> like neo I don't even like know what we're talking about. <laughs> First of all, it, it, this is a very esoteric scenario we're in, but it's like if I, if I stumbled across that, I would actually think it was an art piece. I think it was like like a piece about what what modern day civilization is like that you you make hate speech into into dance songs, and uh, that's what I like about it. I think so. So I sent this to my mom because you know, mom. And, uh, yeah, and her response was, who's Ray Ray? <laughs> what, did, what did mean Ray Ray do to you? She said, who's Ray Ray? Why are you talking about Ray Ray? That was a response. It wasn't, what is this? Why is this? How is this? No, what she knew her, what it was. Her response is just simply, who's Ray Ray? Uh, <laughs> like, oh, thanks. Thanks, mom. Okay, cool. Yeah, anyways. Oh, I hate speech into dance songs. Nice. All right. Anyways, um, uh, Tyler, if you don't know what we're talking about, consider yourself very It's like fortunate. a Black Mirror episode of a song. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. That's the best way to sum it up, I think. Oh, Jesus. Uh, like dystopian futuristic. Like, that's the, that's the direction our society's headed in, boys. Bookmark that song. My favorite part. You'll hear it on the radios in 40 years. My, my favorite part about this is the person that actually made that song, um, uh, uh, Much Love to Lofi, um, they're YouTube watchers of the channel. And since I still haven't <laughs> uploaded like maybe two months worth of YouTube videos, oh I don't know God. where they are, but they're going to have to like wait for that to catch up and then catch up to hear this reaction. It's going to take a while. So, well, Lofi, if you're listening, uh, keep it up. Um, yeah, I'm proud of you. Still haven't heard it or know what it is, but yeah, you know, keep, keep keep creating stuff. That's all I say to anybody. You know. <laughs> Did a great job, Lofi. You um. Yeah. I'm I'm thinking about a lot of things in my life right now. I deleted voice mod from my computer. Maybe you can attribute that to. You. I actually didn't. I just turned it off, in the time being. But, anyways, um. All right. Hi, hi, everybody. Uh, should we get back to the game? Because I know Tyler last session was as patient as he could possibly be, but was getting antsy in the pantsy. Um, he, he wanted to be like, Rita! 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 He's like, oh no, oh no. <laughs> oh God, no, I'm just kidding. Can you bookmark that song for me? I want to go back to it at some point. Uh, yeah, uh, I can I can do that right now. Or pin it. Can you pin it in the yeah, Discord? Yeah, that's oh, exactly go. what I'm going to do. I'm going to pin it in Discord. Yeah. Uh, let me um go up to... What did I say was, oh yeah, Art Showroom. Art Showroom. Oh, there you go. Somebody actually just reposted it and it pings Tyler so he can listen to it if you'd like to. Oh yeah, there you go. Uh, right I'll wait. I'll wait. <laughs> By the way, Messi, you were right. I haven't watched actually, that video the original. Again. I went to bed. <laughs> let me pin the original to make sure the credit is easily found. I will watch that video though. Next break we get, I'll watch that video. What video? Oh, the one I DM'd you? Dude, yeah, that was... Oh, when, oh, yeah, yeah. Was that, fuck, that was Wednesday? Holy shit, that felt so long ago. Yeah, you sent it oh to me Wednesday, God. and uh, it was great. All right. That was the last time I laughed, was listening to that video that I sent you. Um. Uh, oh, and one last thing. Uh, Lofi apparently is a Kiwi, so one more thing we can blame on them. So, you know. Um, Do you think he lives in a Hobbit house? Probably, honestly. Okay. But, um, you know. What can I say? Them, them Kiwi. Lofi, well, join the Discord, dude. <laughs> Lofi's well, in the Discord. He's probably in there. Yeah, yeah he's probably in there. That's how it got posted in there, buddy. So, I, um... I was, I was just saying, like, two months from now. When he, oh, yeah, he after just, they yeah. decide to leave, you just try to convince them to come back. 
Yeah, um, two months from now, when he hears it. Yeah. So, um, I don't... Excuse me, did you just assume gender? So, um, when, when did they... I just... The, the, the mushroom looks... It's, it's wearing pants. I'm sorry. I just... Whenever I see a mushroom wearing pants, I assume it's male. I'm sorry, okay? Sue me. You heard that. Uh, lawsuits open. Please. Um, <laughs> class action, if all of you join together. All right, moving on. Yeah, you all get a dollar. Um, all right, Wait, so... I I'm getting paid now? Scott, uh, when, when can I expect <laughs> You guys are getting paid? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Wait, so, you guys aren't paying? <laughs> so the, um, sorry, the uh, last session, RP between the two of you. Honestly, I don't know why Irina is cringing at herself. Um, I mean, we did when she made a decision a few months ago, but mm -hmm. um, lately she's been <laughs> awesome. And um, the, uh, the RP uh, last week was, was pretty on point. So um, about the bangs again? I really <laughs> wish I had Brittany's phone <laughs> number so she can force you to ha have bangs glued to you for making fun of Rena's bangs. If she knew how how aggressive I was about that joke, oh man, she they, she she'd have she'd have your back. Let's just say that. You know. Get out of here! <laughs> oh my god, you, why you is that to, the new freaking? You need freaking... to know enough about Brit. I know enough about Brit to know she would have your back instantly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's yeah. cool. She she's good people. So, so anyways, um, uh, I'm not. So she, uh, so, so you guys actually had a really good moment where uh, you kind of went through all the, the details that you did. Your character was being, I mean, rightfully so, kind of a, uh, lack of a better phrasing, kind of a bitch. You know, she was being very standoffish. <laughs> she was being in her face. Uh, you were being non-compliant, certainly not uh, very willing to be friendly. Uh, but it's characteristic of her. Either. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, the two of you are very much at the opposite end of the spectrum, kind of being forced together because of the situation that you find yourselves in. She was able to find a degree of middle ground. Um, I, I wouldn't necessarily say mutual respect, but at least understanding uh, with um, uh, Elijah. Arb. But but oh, I thought you were talking about. Never mind. Sorry. Well, with Elijah, but with you, you guys really couldn't. Um, at least you're working together. We'll say that. As I said, yeah. the next day you're going to start heading. I oh, was sorry. Yeah, the next day I think it was. You are heading out um, to head east. The idea to head to the gate. Um, was there any last second stuff you guys were doing in this, this city? I, I didn't think there was. Uh, I was going to take a shower. Well, that was, a, <sighs> yeah, the night before, I think you said. Yeah. Take a I don't, shower. I don't think there was anything else that we were planning on doing here. I think we were just planning. She wanted to leave going. the next morning, right? Yeah, she was like wanting to head out like right then and there. So we were like, yeah. oh, okay. Cool. Not much to do, but sleep mm -hmm. they, Ooh, play cards sleeping. they said they didn't have to sleep in the barracks or they moved into a different barracks or something like it's a different barracks yeah. there's still lots of soldiers around yeah um the two of you i know there was an rp that you said you wanted to have during the travel you said there was something you wanted to do but keep that in mind try to remember what it was maybe message each other in case you don't remember but tyler as for you so i'm eating my my pizza here we go sorry just so you can I always doctor it. <laughs> I throw so much stuff on it. Um, Tyler, you um, uh, you have to spend one more night waiting for them. But the next day, you can see the group of them getting together and leaving. It's not just Elijah and um, and Rena that are heading out. It's also um, Barbara Barnes. Uh, Commander Barbara Barnes is uh, is heading out too. Uh, beyond that, they, she's bringing. A, uh, a score of soldiers with her. That's 20 soldiers are traveling with her because she's no fool. She wouldn't travel without uh, a degree of guard. With 20 soldiers, she can keep a, a good number uh, readily at hand while also having a decent number of scouts uh, spread out so she can um, make sure that there's no ambushing or anything like that that's going to happen. You're claiming that what's-his-name is in the prison. You're claiming that Ophios is dead. And you're claiming you're going to be leading her to this place that she commanded you to do. She wants to make sure that this isn't some degree of trap set by you guys. And you can kind of pick that up pretty easily. The two of you can. Back to you, Tyler. You see them leaving, getting ready, and actually climbing onto mounts. Thank God. I haven't been able to sit on a horse in a long time, and it's kind of nice to be able to move at a more rapid pace. Um, and they're going to head out the, uh, the southern gate and ha head south by a smidge and then start heading east. What does Ophios do? They're getting on a mount? Yeah, oh, they're, they're, oh, they're mounted. Of course they are. Oh, there's no way he's going to be able to keep up on foot. Oh, 
I'm gonna try and get close enough in snake form to be able to hear if they discuss where they're heading. Okay. Um, so, uh, uh, you would actually be able to one up that if you would like to. Um, it's kind of like when you see that they're getting ready, you can spend time trying to get some information prior to their leaving. So you wouldn't be, um, uh, completely caught off guard because obviously your whole idea is that you're spying on them. Right. To gather right. this information, it's going to be an investigation check. Uh, just normal? Uh, si, senor. Not bad. Not bad at all. You're able to discern that the, where they're going is to, um, uh, where they're going to apparently heading is uh, she wants to bring them to a deer. That the plan is for her to head to a deer and that they intend to go quickly. Give, tipping you off a little bit to the fact that there's probably going to be horses involved. Uh, further investigation would show that um, there are a group of soldiers that are going to be traveling with uh, them and they are, in fact, um, uh, getting prepared at the stables. Again, giving you a little bit of a heads up. Um, if that is the case, that information, uh, his thought process would be simply, why? Why are they heading to a deer? Hmm. If they're heading there, I need to beat them there. Because right now he's everything seems like they're not captured and they're working with this person and this is a person we had sought out. So I'm wondering why they would be heading that way. So he's actually going to go to try and uh, steal a horse. Sure, it's a steal one. You can't afford to buy one, I imagine. I don't have any money. Okay. <laughs> Remember, I was in snake form. I dropped everything. Um, Rita has it all. Sure. So um, you uh, you are going to um, uh, go and try to steal a horse. Uh, at last time you tried to steal, what happened, Tyler? Uh, bad things. So this is a good idea, right? Totally. Okay. Hey, I love when PCs learn lessons. So um, how are you going to try to steal this horse? What's your plan here? Uh, I'm going to look for one that's out grazing. Okay. Um, if there's wild uh, horses, whether they're, they're, yeah, like looking for something that's out outside of a normal like pen or an area where people would be trafficking heavily whether they, they have a saddle on or not it doesn't matter to him he would it's just a matter of he needs to get on something that'll work and he'll attempt to ride bareback if he has to okay um uh so uh if, is the saddle the first attempt or is the horse the first attempt wait i'm confused you said you wanted to get a horse uh, and a saddle. But you're not going to really be able to get a horse with a saddle already on it if it's out grazing. Uh, so, horse first. Horse first. Okay. So um, your plan is to go into mm -hmm. a field where they would uh, get out more or less a property where they're rearing the horses or at the very least keeping them like a stable. Find uh, the horses that are penned up. Um, do you go in like, is your plan to like sneak up and open the pen and then go uh, grab a horse? Or is the plan to like go jump on a horse and try to hunt or hop over the horse of uh, the pen? Uh, open the pen. Okay. So why don't you roll me a stealth check to try to approach this? You're clearly not in snake form because horses and snakes don't go well together. Uh, honestly, making your way uh, over and because nobody's like looking for anybody in particular. Uh, people around here are just doing work. So nobody sees you making your way along either just plainly in view, but in a way that nobody would care about and then intentionally avoiding uh, their view. Um, as you make your way over to the pen, you lift the thing and open it and leave the pen open enough that you know that a horse would be able to uh, to either uh, walk through or with a run, you can probably bump it open uh, to get through. You know what? In this thought, he's going to open it and I want to scare the horses out. <laughs> so perhaps instead of stealing a horse, he can make it so they don't have horses. Oh, there's... um. Uh, the, where the military is getting their horses from wouldn't be the same location. I just okay. imagine you weren't okay. stealing directly from where there was at least 20 soldiers. Yeah, I would not do that, so. <laughs> Alright. Just because your intelligence is 19 now, so. Um, anyways. Um, there's no flint here, by the way, because, um, <clears throat> we have standards in how we start fire. Um, no flint necessary. So, uh, you go and, uh, you go over to the pen, and so you're still going to try to sneak up to one? Yeah. Okay. 
So you uh, make your way over to the pen, you open the thing up, and then you have to try to creep up onto a horse itself. That's another stealth check, sir. Another stealth check? Creeping up to a horse? Hmm. I mean, the horse doesn't necessarily need to be creeped up to. It's creeping up to it not for the horse to care, but for other people to notice you. Hmm. Because now you're don't blow. I mean... No, a 12 is not horrible. Um... Uh, so anyways, you, uh, you spend your 12, uh, so you have your 12, but as you're, like, walking up to the horse, uh, trying to check it out, unfortunately, there's a couple of people that come and line up the side of the fence, and, um, uh, kind of, like, climb and stand up on the edge of the fence, and they seem to be having a conversation. They're pointing out towards the horses to have a conversation about them. Maybe they're looking to sell one, buy one, maybe they're just admiring their stock, whatever the case may be. One of the men calls out, Hey! Who are you? Admire of horses. And I'll start petting the horse. He, 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 one guy looks to the other one. They like have like a, a conversation. He's like, what the hell are you doing on my property? Sorry. I was just admiring your animals. Um, It's a deception check, sir. Better at lying in RP than it. <laughs> well, Only if he rolls well. Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, damn. He's really good at this. <laughs> wow, he's really good. Saved all his deception for D&D. For &D. So, you, uh, you convince <clears throat> him, obviously, that that's what you're there for. He says, well, get the hell off my property, you weirdo. Don't make me call the guards. Uh, I want to make an animal handling check to see if I can get the horse to follow me uh, in some capacity. Roll it. Wow. Wow. For those of you that don't usually watch this uh, stream, uh, this game, they opted to have Natty 20s and Natty 1s be critical successes and failures, even for skill checks. Wow. Sometimes I regret it, and sometimes I don't. Today is sometimes. The horse instinctively just seems to like you. For whatever reason. Um, I'll just... Uh, <clears throat> essentially... W uh, walk out of the pen. Like, but you have to kind of lead... The, the horse likes you, but it sounds like it's just going to follow you like a, like a puppy at a heel. Right. Right, you have to kind of lead it out. Yeah. Do you lead it out? Yeah, I'll, right in front of them? I'll, I'll lead it. I'll lead it. I'll lead it towards the men. Okay. You're leading it towards the men. You can, again, you can see that they're having a pretty agitated conversation with one another. Uh, both of them end up hopping the fence to, to uh, be on the inside. I said there's a group of them. There's three of them end up hopping uh, the fence and whatnot to be on the inside. And, you know, they stay back to the fence within like 10 feet or so of it. But, um, like, I keep as my you distance approach, to hide my face. They, they, they spread out a little bit. Ophios doesn't need a roll. He can clearly tell they're in aggressive stances and whatnot. They think there's someone here that needs to catch a whooping, uh, considering they're just trespassed onto property and playing with man's horses. Fair, fair. Um... He'll simply say, why is it a big deal if I see your horse? Not in that manner. Why is it a big deal if I admire your horse and show it some affection, whereas it seems you don't? Gesturing to the fact that the creature's following him. He he like he says, "You trespass on my property." And he like um, looks to the other guys, like assuring themselves up. He's like, "I think I'm going to show you what we do to trespassers," ignoring the rest of your comment. Kiss him. They start aggressively walking towards Kiss him, you. boys. I'm going to prepare an action to Misty Step. Where to? Um, behind them. Okay. When do you do it? Uh, it? Once they make an aggressive action towards me, like if they're about to attack or tackle or anything like that. So when they're maybe like uh, 10 feet away, something like that, so that's pretty close, right? They're maybe about 10 feet away. 
all of a sudden they like, kick up for that last like three steps for, like a quick like oh, grab them you know and they try to jump at you one tries to throw a punch at you two of them are kind of going in trying to grab at you like they're gonna pin you down or whatever i thought it there is. were only two no three remember i said there's a group oh. of them, so three so um so uh they they all three of them are coming at you but as they do so right as they kind of like, like kick forward or whatever it is you just like and uh appear directly behind them you said I, uh, back where that probably on the other side of the fence where they're originally so like uh however far away that is yeah so more or less directly on the other side of the fence because of uh a distance or whatever right so directly on the other side of the fence you would you'd be able to appear and yeah, i'm um, gonna drop i'm gonna drop mystery stuff and check yep so directly on the other side of the fence so it's almost like one of those you can appear there and the fence is right in front of you um they look like, what the look around and they see that you're not there anymore Takes up a couple of moments to look over and see that you're over there now. And um, you can clearly see like, oh shit, he's one of them. You know, because obviously you have spells and they probably do not. When that happens, uh, one of the guys pulls out a pretty decent sized knife. You know what I mean? The other guy kind of, you know, reaches over and pulls out like a smaller knife. The third one's just got to bare knuckle it. And um, they don't look like they're ready to stop. He's taking off. Okay, you run off. They didn't get any good sight of you, and you could easily outpace them at this uh, uh, point anyways. So they'd have to jump the fence and so on and so forth. So, you you run, and unfortunately have to leave the horse behind. Does this foil your plans to get in the horse? Yep. <laughs> um, uh, and if uh, Neil ever watches this, um, maybe that was Anna. He likes taking horses. So, um, moving on. You uh, have to unfortunately... Get ready to try to chase them down, follow them as they are on horseback and they're leaving. What's your plan for keeping uh, keeping up with them now, Tyler? Because they're riding out. Is it just to uh, uh, maintain a high pace to try to jog after them? He'll maintain a high pace, but he'll try and, uh, like, for a short while, keep them with an eyesight. But after a while, he'll probably just focus on following the tracks. R remember that riding these horses, it's not like you, you full-on gallop with a horse the entire track, right? That'd be impossible. You trot with them, which is n trots not even that fast of a movement, right? If you've ever been on a horse. I mean, in all honesty, more than likely they walk them because yeah. a trot, if you're carrying equipment and gear, that is uncomfortable. Uh, fair enough, actually, because they are, these are leading with, uh, they are leading with um, actual armored people. So yeah, but the reason why you travel further on a horse is just because you can travel further. They're more uh, 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 durable. They have more endured animals. Than, than yeah, you are. can also dismount and walk and stuff like that. There's a lot of. Yeah. I just think they're more endured than the average human. Um, humans actually are the uh, fastest, uh, oh, sorry, the, the longest distance land animal um, uh, that exists. No, no other animal stretches as far in uh, a long period of time than a human does. We hold all records. So, water is a different. We also keep all the records, by the way. Yeah, to clarify. Fair, yeah, to fair, yeah, you know, that's not true, actually. I saw this mouse once that was actually, anyways. So, you French um, it down? Yeah. Stuart Little? Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> that was the actor's name. He also played Simba. Anyways, so, um, uh, the producers, whatever the hell his name is. So, you, um, you, uh, are unfortunately gonna have to chase after them, right? Um, yeah. so for you, this isn't anything crazy. Um, uh, following their tracks it's pretty simple there's a lot of people you're not very far behind them you have to consistently maintain a dc7 survival check that's a nice easy survival check to follow you say that it's not nice and easy for me you have a minus one on your whiz i have a zero. Oh, okay holy shit that was loud got a 12 thank goodness okay i think the reason why we're hearing double uh, like i feel like i'm hearing the bloop twice, but I feel like I'm hearing it coming from somebody else, and then I'm hearing it coming from my computer. It, it, it sounds distant. It, from mine? it sounds distant that really I'm close. Far away from me, yeah. and not in front of my mic. It's possible you hear it, but highly unlikely. Yeah, I heard like a bloop, bloop. But then again, I also do technically have two windows open. I have Firefox and Chrome open, both looking at the same game, like I always do. But moving on. Mute so um, one of the tabs. Huh? You can mute the tab. See um, if it goes away. Bart Fox, Just say. mute tab, we'll try. See if it works. So, um, uh, moving on, Tyler. So you're easily able to keep, uh, follow them uh, at this point. And then I need a constitution save from you uh, for the first day. It's just a DC 10. 
I should say the first couple days, really. It's I'm not gonna have you do a check every day. Yeah, Oof. I failed. Look, 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 I mean, look, look. I, ima I imagine it's because I had to miss a meal uh, while I was on my way up. I'm. Well, look. I've been doing this for a while. Well, look, Tyler. It's a 50 50. It's a 50 50. Yeah, it. there it is. All right. So um, you're actually able, you're not too tired. I mean, maybe you have to miss a meal or whatever it is, but honestly, Ophios can find food wherever he needs to. I can so, turn uh, into snake form and just be like, oh, look, a rodent. <laughs> So oh, small squirrel. So you end up uh, uh, be, being able to keep pace with them. I mean, it's one of those things where at the end of the day, uh, you have to keep trekking, even though you know that they've probably already stopped. And then finally, like, oh, thank God, I see the fire that they have lit in the nighttime. Let me travel for another hour or so more before I finally flop down, just to make sure that they don't get too far ahead of me. I don't want them to continue growing a distance. That's I want to. I want to get on the other side of wherever they make camp. Oh, if you do that, that's another Constitution save, and you're risking much. Fatigue is your best friend, Tyler. Okay. So um, you're able to uh, 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 close the gap, uh, closing up to where they are. Um, you know what I mean? You can find it. You can literally see the camp where they are. If you want to try to get ahead of it, um, you're going to have to push yourself just a little bit further to go, to go on and do so. Your stomach's already rumbling. You're already tired, but you're just going to have to sacrifice a little bit of sleep. Not the end of the world. You can do so. You don't need a check. Before he, if you want to keep before going. he runs ahead of us, I was going to. Just a quick question: How are, how is this camp set up? Like, I know the soldiers were keeping eyes on us pretty well at the barracks, but how are they doing it here on the road? Are we like are they just like kind of engulfing us, like surrounding us to make sure we don't run off, or do they not really care? There seems a. I mean, you can imagine people's attention is on you, but they're not watching you. Okay, so at night when we set up camp. It's one of those things where if you like pissed off for like six or seven minutes, I'd be like, hey, have you seen that guy? I think he took a shit. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Like they're, they're definitely not. Okay. Watch. It's like a it's like a babysitter that your parents paid way too much for. <laughs> so if we set up camp, I mean, I know Raina's pretty pissed at them, the whole group itself, and they have not been treating us super well. So I imagine we would be on like the edge, distant a little bit. Yeah. Um, so if that's the case, just want Tyler to know that that's a possibility. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, <laughs> well, he wouldn't Ophios, know. Ophios is beat, dude. He, he gets true. around camp and he probably f finds food and then crashes. He also would never just, clue that just, you were there. Correct. I had I had to say my piece, you know. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. But all right. Um. Anyways, you push on a little bit further. Eventually, kind of collapse down. Have your food. And pass out but because you did that i need a stealth check from you uh i would after when i'm sleeping uh be in snake form but probably not this because i don't want to lose my stuff i'll try it again we'll make it a 13 sure sorry guys i've used all the luck so far this episode mm -hmm. you have so anyways, yeah, you um, you are uh, uh, kind of curled up and sleeping, so on and so forth. Um, in the morning, when you guys get up and start uh, your own trek, uh, start your own trek towards the um, uh, the east even further, at one point in time, one of the guards actually uh, announces something. Huh. Hey, uh, Commander, you might want to check this out. What is it? It seems like somebody may have camped here recently. As recent as last night. Now, why do you say that? Just signs of people being about. It goes over, they investigate the area, and they can see, like, whether it be a broken twig or uh, the way that uh, supplies and whatnot are kind of balled up or the way that the ground has been moved. Certainly no fire has been lit. Um, they would notice that. They, they would point it out and be like, um, Commander, there is no fire lit. That means if somebody was traveling last night, they would have seen ours. They chose not to light a fire. She says, it could just be a passerby or the two of them are planning something. Just be on alert. Um, uh, double the guard in the evenings. Let's see if uh, we've been a couple days outside of the city. Let's see if there's some surprise waiting for us. We're gonna then push forward for the next couple of days uh, of travel for you, Tyler. You have to, again, you're ahead of them. 
but staying ahead of them is not exactly an easy thing to do. You don't necessarily know where they're going. You're told they're going to go into Adir. They've been traveling east, not south, or southeast. So you know, maybe maybe they're going to central Adir. Maybe they're going to which in which case now they should say it's south. Maybe they're going to eastern Adir. You don't know. The honest truth, the reason I got ahead of them was so that I figured it'd be more likely if they embarked that I would wake up hmm. in case they ever slept. I wasn't planning on staying ahead of them. It was just ahead of them, like off to the side, so I could see essentially when they left. Sure. And so you're probably nearby and near enough by that you can see the movements of the group and not the movements of individuals. Um, uh, staying hidden, which is easy for you to do, of course, and allow them to continue traveling. You follow them. Roll me your survival. You try to lock it. It's a beat a two. The best I could do is a six. The DC is a what? A ten? But I, this might be a critical failure. What do you guys think? I mean, I, I guess it's better if it's not a critical failure. Unless he doesn't. I mean, it's not a one, but Messi, you're muted. What do you think? There's not in there anyway. Oh. Rip. Okay, so um, unfortunately, there's no luck in there, as you just stated. Um, the uh, so going uh, as you're traveling along, the issue is that they move ahead of you because they move quicker than you, and they can move more consistently. When you have to stop to give your legs just a couple of, you know, just need five minutes, and you get up and you start traveling, and you're like, oh, so far ahead, you have to jog to keep track of them, and so on and so forth. And then at one point in time. You swear they finally turn to the south and you jog up and then when you get down in uh, south and you can't find the trail, can't find the trail of wherever it is that they're going, it is at the top of a ridge and you look out and you're like, where the fu They're still going straight east? What the hell? And uh, and you have to kind of you know, backtrack a little bit and then uh, continue heading to, to, to follow after them. You lose a considerable number, uh, amount of ground, unfortunately. Um, so uh, as you're keeping that ground up, once again, I need that constitution check to um, try to keep this distance that you have. You actually had 11 as a success. So um, it's 11 this time as a success. A success. Um, and uh, you're able to keep, to keep the ground up from this amount of lost space. Honestly, you're going to have to push yourself even further tonight if you want to catch up so that in the morning you'd be able to catch their movements same as you originally could have. Do you want to risk it or do you want to keep this distance and sleep a little early tonight? Um, can I expend both of my spell slots to get 60 feet free? 60 feet doesn't mean anything over the course of hours, buddy. I know. Dang it. Oh, here we go again. Fuck, 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 fuck. Yes! All right. Luck came back. <laughs> this is the next several days of travel. You're definitely over central Adir, and there still seems to be traveling east. You two, did you discuss what it was that you wanted to discuss? Uh, I, yes. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I, we, we actually don't know what you're talking about when you said there was <laughs> stuff you were supposed to talk about. Yeah, I, none of us, neither of us knew what the hell you were going on about. So. You said you wanted to talk on your trip there still, but that's okay. Yeah, I don't remember. I have to find that clip. Send it to him. Ha! I was right. Um, we say he's going to find the receipts. Huh. All right, that's fine. So if there's anything else we do, we're going to do one more with Tyler. Tyler, same idea. Survival check. Hey! <laughs> Dang. I don't know if that's necessarily a good thing right now, but it's not bad. And uh, you're easily able to follow tracks. As a matter of fact, assuming they're cutting straight east, they're not going the best path. You're pretty sure you see an easier one. You don't lose ground keeping up with them. They're climbing up hills that you, they could have completely circumvented by staying 
uh, along like the lower ridge and going around a hill that was steep but not didn't have a huge circumference you know things like that you're able to you know not lose too much pace yeah of course anytime that they keep going and you keep going they pull away a bit but this time far less than they usually do uh, allowing you when they rest you'd only travel on for like maybe 10 more minutes before you also get to flap your ass down and and rest you're feeling i mean tired from days of travel but you're a traveler and have been for oh what two years now whatever it is you just get old time than that yeah you, you're just getting old so it's just you know it has its effect on you anyways so um you uh are able to keep ground later on i just need that other um actually with that critical success you don't need to make constitution save tonight you're able to keep pace with them for the entire day you realize as they're coming over eastern adir and that they're not going to head south that they're probably they're actually coming round to the edge of adir and they're not heading south yet maybe that's not where they're going maybe you got misinformed or misheard the information whatever the case may be but they seem to be continuing to travel east i don't know if at this point uh if uh, maybe Ophios should realize where they're heading. Ophios is going to take a risk. I don't know if he'd realize he has no information as to where they possibly could be heading. Um, he's not necessarily the most familiar with this region. I mean, heck, he woke up in a place and kind of didn't know where he was. Just knew where he was heading, where people were heading. So my thought process is that he wouldn't know, but he would want to know at this point and take a risk. All right. And essentially go into snake form and see if you could find any information by listening on the outskirts of camp circling around. Sure, 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 sure. So instead of um, uh, uh, taking the win, uh, I'm saying I don't need to make constitution save for that. You're saying, you know what? I am still going to sacrifice a little bit of tiredness to keep yep. doing some more work tonight. So yep. uh, I'm just going to have you roll me a constitution save for that. Oh boy, that was that. That was, was it was tease. right there. Yeah. One and three and oh and man, then that was a onto tease. the seventeen. <laughs> that was good. That was good. I like that one. All right, cool. So you, um, uh, you sir, are able to, uh, uh, you know, you've rested your little rests here and there. Able to find decent food along the way. Um, you're doing all right. Stealth check with advantage. And for funsies, these two can roll perception checks with disadvantage. Um, I mean, I will roll, but uh, just I have a nineteen passive. Oh, I'm observant. Yeah, oh. he does have that. Oh. You want me to roll anyway? Uh, no, I mean, I roll no, anyway. no, 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 no. Passive. Like observant in the chat. Uh, honestly, realistically, uh, passive should apply, but there's a problem with uh, 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 this. When you have disadvantage, as you would per his magic item that he has, um, disadvantage equates to a plus five or minus five. So a 19 is actually a 14, meaning that with Rena rolling there, you guys effectively have the same one. But realistically, Rena shouldn't have rolled. She should have taken her passive minus five. So where's what's Rena's passive? Uh, perception. Yeah. It should be under your skills. Oh. Wait. Yeah, it's under skills. Twelve skill or so. We'll say passive perception. It's probably not very high. It's in it between says passive. Tools and oh, skills. it's fifteen. Sorry, so it'd be ten. Okay, so she. So she, wow, you have or a fifteen pass. That's pretty awesome. So yeah, so she has a ten. Uh, you have a fourteen. She has the wise magic item. Yeah, yeah. It's so. So 14 is your passive. Yeah. Are you happy with 14 <laughs> being your passive? Oh, I see. Okay. Um, <laughs> I mean, it says we have zero dice left in the pool last time he rolled luck, but... Uh, My yeah. honest yeah. opinion was going to say, since it's technically an opposed PC to PC, we normally don't allow luck in that situation. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not there right. anyway. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because it's not—it's yeah, it's not, you're not opposing each other in a negative way. Correct. Um, okay. Yeah, we didn't so, have any. So, just out of curiosity, can I roll and see what I would have got if I didn't say anything? I'm sorry. What was that? He wants to can roll. I roll and oh, sure, see what my perception would have been if I didn't say anything. Sure. 
Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about right. Let's oh, too late, Justin. I appreciate it, though. Hey, Justin literally posted it saying, I was too slow. Oh. So, yeah. um, okay. I feel like I haven't seen good. Justin in a long time. Hope you're doing well. Might. Um, uh, that's my impersonation of Magoo. Uh, oh, my God. Oi, might. Um, <clears throat> I imagine I have to roll a perception to see what I hear or find out, right? Um, yes, you do. Thank you. No, he auto, and your, your, auto success. Your check there, to be clear, uh, Tyler, nobody has above a 15 for their passive. Uh, oh. You, yeah, well, so, so you're, now. You're, you're yeah. good. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> you know, you're not going to get noticed. So with your uh, perception of an 11, um, you are actually able to kind of like listen, hear conversation. There's no real conversation that gleams any, that gives you any information. You're not able to discover anything, unfortunately. But... You do see your friends. I do? Yeah. Hmm. Again. Do I keep the same stealth if I approach, or how cl how far away would I be? You'd have to roll again to do an approach. For how far away they are from where you are at the time that this happens. Can I get two D100s in chat, please? Two D100s in Twitch chat. Okay. Oh, right next to each other. All right, that was that was pretty. They're standing pretty shoulder good. to shoulder, you know, uh, with their side in your direction. That's why they notice you, about eighty-five feet away. <coughs> Look at that. So if that's the case, and I missed you step twice, I would be within twenty-five feet. Mm-hmm. Is Misty cool. step detectable? Uh, it has a visual component, does it not? It's visual, yeah. What does it say? Well, it's verbal. Uh, verbal. That's what the V is. What does it say? It just says, instantaneous, briefly surrounded by silvery mist, you teleport up to 30 feet to an unoccupied space you can see. Silvery mist could could give you away. I'm going to roll stealth and approach that way. Okay. That might be good for your actual like movements or whatever it is, but your misty step that would cancel. I'm sorry. I'm your... not doing misty step. That's why I said I'm. Oh, approaching you just normal. try to approach. Gotcha. Okay. So you just try to approach, and so you start slithering your way closer, as close as you can. To slither, you have to move at half speed to do your uh, to do your stealth. That allows you to close the gap at half speed over the course of one round, thirty feet. So no longer eighty-five feet away. Now about 55 feet away. Do you try to get closer? Yeah. Do you am have I to keep rolling stealth? Am I in light or anything like that? Apparently. Every round. Good answer. You happy with that 16? You're a lot closer now than you were before. You're more or less in the camp. Are they in the camp? Of course they are. They're, they might be on the edge or whatever, but, you know, where they throw down their tents, but... I'm happy with the 16, because anybody who's trying to actively perceive has to roll disadvantage. It's true, and you are in an area where people are going to actively be perceiving, because this is where there's people, actual scouts, looking about in this area. I'm a roll. Okay. Um, 2d20... Uh, keep lower one plus okay you can't get within with the daddies thank god okay so um you them 30 more feet you went from 85 feet away to 25 feet away you're so close to them so close to them you can when do we Taste roll them. again? Because you don't. It's, against, it's, against, it's against your passive. Oh, okay. Still? Yeah. Sure. That's what he always rolls against, unless somebody's actively looking. That's why it's passive. So I have to do it one more time? If you want to get up to them, you're 25 feet away, and you can't quietly yell 25 feet. Even looking at where it is, where they're positioned... Feet. 
getting over there is not going to be an easy feat. Ah, there's more people between you and there. And you're not going to be able to get all the way up to them. Fuck me. You're going to be able to only get as close as, um, you're only going to be able to get as close as, uh, uh, maybe about 10 feet away from them, but still a lot closer. Allowing you to leave behind your standard action at least. Okay. Hey, that's just in my passive. <laughs> yeah. So you notice it approaching. Does anyone I think, <clears throat> I think Rena does too. Yes. Hold that on. stinks, Wait, dude. Seven Sorry. plus four equals. No! Come on! That's why I rolled the luck, baby! That's why I rolled the luck, what baby! Dang. Come on, man. God, this sucks. All right. Both of you guys is actually first Elijah. Like, what is that? You notice something coming over in your direction, and you get Rena's attention, and get that gets Rena's attention. She looks over. She sees something, too. But neither of you know what it was. You just saw something move underneath a bush nearby where you are, about 10 feet away. Something just moved underneath it. It didn't look small. How do you two react? Uh, well, if we're standing next to each other, she'll just say, did you see that? Shoulder to shoulder almost. Only <laughs> I, guess, I guess so. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I guess COVID doesn't exist in this world. Um, no, no, not here. Well, yeah, I saw it. You do still want to wear a hazmat suit because <coughs> if you don't, you might catch that beat, 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 beat. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, god. Hey, six feet, guys! Come on, yeah. not so close. Jesus Christ! Oh. Hey, don't listen. Uh, I just stand in the background, t posing almost. She she would just say, um, probably an animal. That was kind of large. Um, can I actively uh mm -hmm. search for it? Well, I don't want to go like digging in the bushes. Oh, there's something big in here. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I don't want to do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh huh. What do you do? Roll with disadvantage. Yeah. Just basically, you, they're they're honing in on it to see mm. if they hear anything or see sure. anything. Yeah, and Elijah isn't thinking that it could be something good. He's probably thinking it's something bad, so he's not going to raise the alarm yet, but he's not, like, like looking over his shoulder, you know, seeing if anyone's looking. He's just, like, turning around and staring where he saw the thing, seeing if there's anything else there. The only reason I'm not oh. talking yet is it makes sense that they would have saw, saw the approach to an extent. Yikes. Wow. Yeah. Same role as me, huh? Same role as so. me. Oh, you one number off would be the exact same roll. Sorry. Um. Anyways, so... Uh, no, it was a three plus a four. It's the same. No, no, no. But you got a, a 15. I got a 14. Oh. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um. Anyways, Rena, you can roll too. Okay. Disadvantage. Yep. Please. That's this. Oh. <laughs> Weird. How? It's How there. Is fire so high? You are there within within one. <laughs> Okay. Oh, one? Is yeah, that yeah one I rolled a... Uh, mine's a 12, because I did If you luck, Rita, you can two. actually see it. If, if we have luck. luck. No. Nope. Yikes. No. Nope. So close. <laughs> it's okay. We just won't meet this episode, guys. <laughs> it's just... fine, yeah. <laughs> so keep no, going. Go like, it's it all good. Is, yeah, you yeah. Saw it. You saw it. I'm in the bush now, and this is what you hear, Rena. Hold on. The question Wait. is, does anybody else notice the two of you immediately react turn around and start looking at this bush? Oh, yeah. Like, taking point. a step closer to it. And we, I mean, around. we are further away, though, so, like... Correct, but nonetheless, there's a chance for this to happen. I'm going to say, if somebody in chat rolls a D100 and it's above a 77, somebody notices. Gives you time Don't to eat. Don't do me dirty wait. here. Mm -hmm. Hey! Oh! <laughs> Darn. Save by Snaga. Save by Snaga. Snaga, yes. big breeze. Yeah. Uh, other people Va are rolling now. Yeah. Van Vance, Vance and Steve, Steve are trying to kill fuck? you. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yep. those, it's those podcast boys. You know? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Anyways, uh, so yeah. where's my podcast this week? I'm just kidding. I'm just so kidding. Very, <laughs> keep just bringing very it up. Subtly. I'm messing with you. <laughs> Leave very right now subtly. and go make the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> no, stay. I'm sorry. Very oh. subtly, Rena is going to hear a language she hasn't heard in a while. And it just says Mandarin? Will I pick this up? 
Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's I mean, like, she, I, I taught her, you the language, so yeah. Her immediate reaction is she'll look around, but she's he would only say words that you know. He's not gonna I mean, be like, yeah, he's not gonna be like, you know, um, anti disestablishment in his language, right? Like, <laughs> Perfect, <laughs> yeah, it's exactly that's the one he taught me, though. So, um, no, if I guess if she heard that, she would pay a little bit more attention. Uh, can I roll again if she's gonna like look again? I mean, you were on the cusp, anyways. I would say you notice there's a, a shape in there. It looks serpentine. It's hard to make out, though, because there's a chameleon-like texture to it. You know what that means. Uh... You... She'll, she'll look, but she's, like, really confused looking. <laughs> and kind of, like, listen. Now she's just paying attention. She's actually going to wait a few moments to see if she can hear something else. He's just going to repeat. Uh, does Elijah do anything while she's just standing there very intently looking at wherever this is? He walks over, he checks it really shittily, doesn't say anything, and he's just going to turn around and walk back with the group and not say anything. Just going to be like, eh, it was nothing. He's just going to leave you to continue your search. So he doesn't think it's weird that she's just standing there intently looking at this one spot? No, because, well, they both saw something move, but he looked through, didn't see anything. So he was like, eh, all right, well, I'll let her f keep looking, but I'm done. And the question is, off. would you be able to hear it? It's in a language you don't understand, but it's still noise. Oh, yeah. Would you have heard that? I, I guess I would have heard something, yeah, but... When I recognized it as Ophios' snake hiss. language, I don't... I don't you, he never has spoken it in front of you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Could just so, be the so, wind. It sounds like hissing, you know what I mean? Just like, um, again, let go me... back to Harry Potter and, and Parcel Mouth, you know? Like, you were antagonizing, right, let me, uh... you were antagonizing the snake, Harry. Harry, you were pissing it off, Harry. Oh, my God. <laughs> would this be... Would you guys consider this an intelligence or a wisdom check for him? For what? To be like, I'm... To, to recognize the voice as the thing that was in the bush and not just an unrelated event that's really no, 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 that you would definitely be able to pinpoint that think of your passive oh, okay. um yeah yeah passive perception yeah, yeah i guess so you'd be able to pinpoint that sound it's like when you hear a cell phone okay. go it's like when you hear your ringtone go off and for like a quarter of a second you think it's in your pocket but then you're like a quarter of a second later again you're able to identify exactly which pocket it came from across a room like your your hearing is very in tune Sure. Um, in that case, uh, he looks, he doesn't see anything, turns around, starts walking away, hears the whispers, and then he'll turn back and stare at the bush that Rena's staring at, hear it again, turn back, and see if the guards and commander are, like, investigating as well, or if they they seem uninterested. Um, it seems like nobody gives a shit what the hell you're doing at the moment. Uh, if She would look back to Elijah to see if he noticed, and then upon seeing him kind of, like, acknowledge the sound she'd ask did you hear that yeah so i'm not crazy uh it she'd turn around and, and actually go straight to the spot she goes does he stop her Rena, where are you going she ignores him so uh, it's only what two steps forward and then you have to just kind of like look into the bush uh, she does so. Okay. That does gather Bear. people's attention because they're like, what the hell is she doing over there? You Did you, I mean? Wait, are we on horses right now or is this like a No, this is uh, like we're at a campsite. Okay, okay. O okay. Ophios, as she goes to do this, he'll simply say, stop. Um, she stops. Yeah, you stop, but that doesn't change the fact that you can see it. There's, you've seen this thing a million times. You've seen it in its chameleon form a thousand times. You know exactly what you see in front of you. And for that, I imagine you have something in your mind, Rena, but please roll me a wisdom save. Steak! Kill it, kill it, kill it! Yikes. Oh, really? <laughs> Truth be told, that's an awful lot of, uh, if, you, if you think it's real, if you think it's really him, there's a lot of excitement behind, like, you right now. If you think it's some sort of decoy fake or something like that there's a lot of agitation coming behind her needless to say your emotions are high go ahead uh she so she actually uh doesn't think this is real she thinks this is like she's just 
making this up, but like she thinks it's something, but not really sure what it is. Uh, she's gonna back away and just kind of um, listen a little, just to see if anything happens, and she'll actually look back to Elijah briefly. And she looks yeah, shocked. She like when you see her, her face looks shocked, but her expression hasn't changed too much. Just kind of like really wide eyed. Uh, yeah, he's not really thinking about the possibility that Ophios is alive. So he's like kind of standing between you and the camp and he's like waiting on you. Like, like what, what, what's going on? Like confused. Yeah. Uh, Ophios will just simply respond. Um, uh, and this time it won't be in his necessarily native language. Uh, he'll just be like, What's wrong? Um, hearing it speak again, she would actually get pretty upset and uh, go to reach for her weapon. Just get not to like pull it to to get ready, but just kind of like at like ready to grab at at it Makes if her she feel needs safe. it. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> um, she'll say. There's no way you're here right now. Like, really, really, really quiet. Is everything okay over there? Somebody calls from across the way. Rena having reached for her weapon, bent over into a bush. Uh, yeah. she'll turn. She'll just kind of shout back and just say, "Uh, yeah, it's fine. I, it's a uh, bug. <laughs> Sorry. Deception, disadvantage." <laughs> Oh, come on. I was, oh, it was so close to being on that 20. You have somebody, uh, literally like nation renowned warrior. You mean like, uh, it's a bug. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> I oh, mean, she man. wasn't exactly trying that hard to hide it anyway. No, oh, God, that that was, that's the, probably the worst disadvantage role I've ever seen you do. I know. Right? I, was hope, I was hoping <laughs> yeah. that would be a good one. I'm like, at okay. It wasn't, at least it wasn't a, a one. That's all. That's the whole. True. true. Just close. It's close. close. Yeah, two it's to close three. Yeah. Anyways, um, so yeah, you um, uh, what was I saying? Sorry. Oh yeah. So you you say that, and uh, the guard kind of like gives like a look over to another guard, and the two of them start walking over towards you to investigate. They're probably about like sixty feet or so away, so it's gonna take them maybe like ten seconds to come up to you because they're not walking super fast. They're making their way over to you. So you've got ten seconds. Timer uh, start. <laughs> She just she'll just say in uh in Ophios's language language if it is him uh leave. That's it. Just, just leave. Frankly, leave. Uh, he'll is she straighten up or anything afterwards or? Uh yeah, and then she'll turn to to kind of walk back. Oh, she'll hide the stolen cookie behind her back. <laughs> I didn't say that's just stole the cookie from the cookie <sighs> jar. Okay. So I guess that's a stealth check. I'm gonna go wherever the fastest path out is towards sure. the woods, that's which I assume advantage. is just straight behind me. Mm -hmm. It's a really good roll, but I technically get to roll because these people are alerted, so they're actively looking. Right, let's go. Disadvantage. Scott, this is that. Scott. This is your moment. You only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to roll. God it. damn it! Vomit on your sweater already. Oh, come Mom's on. spaghetti. Nice. Is three sevens in a row? He's weak. Arms Do I win the are lottery? Heavy. Spaghetti. Lots of spaghetti going on Eyes here. Eyes filled with meatballs. <laughs> Blind like Betty. <laughs> I'm going to sound clown. Re remix. This crap. Remix. This crap remix. is ridiculous how I... Fucking, I got nothing. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to listen to Celsius' advice. The young kids, they they make me feel forced into things. The peer pressure. Uh, at that, Ophios is, is going to go to where his gear is, uh, all the way around on the outside of the camp, and, and go to rest. <coughs> okay. Um, you slither off and, uh, and hide. No problem. He has he has a slight monologue with himself, like surprised to see me, lies while he's on his way, like not saying it out loud, but he's just like very confused, like 
what happened? Is this is this a time thing? Did something what's happen? What feeling? what's going on? <laughs> like But you don't notice she doesn't look any different, right? She looks the same as when you last saw her. She does look the same. Um, yeah, so he's he's just what's befuddled more with confused. Feeling? Um as for those two, they approach the hell are you doing? I mean, can I can I not get any privacy? I'm just trying to use the bathroom over here. And that bush? Yeah, that. What's wrong with that bush? Different from that one. Listen, I don't judge you guys where you choose to go. Okay. On a, if you don't mind, I'm gonna head back now. Um, uh, I will deception. I think again for that one. Is that also disadvantage? Uh, no, this is normal. Normal. Yeah, that that's a, a believable lie. Oh, come on. Sure, emotions are high. It's it's. I mean, yeah. <laughs> stuff's oh. off. So, so uh, he, he looks over and says, I don't think anybody's dumb enough to try to piss in a bush like that. It's going to prick you every which way. What are you hiding in there? And he looks at the other guard and kind of gives a head nod for him to start going in and, and searching through the bush. I mean, nothing. If you want to go check out a bush, be my guest, but whatever. Um, a guy searches through the bush. I get to roll, not with disadvantage. See if he finds anything exciting. But because only one guy, he only gets a plus three. Um, I did that wrong. That sucks. Why did that? Oh, <laughs> I was like, uh, the, the, the thirty-two. That's not disadvantage. There's um, no, no, it's a not with disadvantage because there's only one oh. who gets a plus three. Sorry. I left says, beforehand, but... Yes, you did leave. You're not there. Yeah. They cannot see you. Um, uh, he goes looking through there. He goes, um, there's nothing here. Uh, looks like something came through here recently, but I don't know, an animal? Snake or something? The guy says, what? He's like, yeah, there's nothing here. Uh, maybe a, a snake or something came through. Something, something came through here recently, but it doesn't look like anything. There's not like a person hiding in there. He's like, oh, okay. Um, report it to the commander, and it gives him a look like, report that to the commander, and there's kind of like an awkward moment between the two of them, and he just breaks that moment by turning to you and being like, stop doing shady shit, and then they turn and walk away. She won't say anything, just watch them go, and she'll walk back to uh, the camp, I guess. Okay. I was also uh, also was pointed out in chat because generally seeing tracks is a survival. Track, no, no, no. So, uh, you can perceive but... tracks with perception. You can follow tracks with survival. Oh, you can okay. also see tracks with survival. So gotcha. in theory, you can argue right. survival <laughs> versus knowledge of nature to identify it being a snake. But if you're looking at like a slither pattern, that kind of stands out a little pretty, bit obvious, yeah, I guess. Yeah, pretty obvious. Either Especially way. it's not a small snake. <laughs> no, no, it's massive. Um. Uh, so anyways, yeah, they um they go off. Um, these guys do almost deserve what they get. Wow. Wow. Just, just, just for saying, stop being shady. Wow. And sex was quick to throw that ax at people. Um, nor would be very disappointed. So, um, yeah, you guys, um, they leave you alone, giving the two of you a moment of, of peace to say anything to one another. Uh, obviously Elijah would have watched this go down, I imagine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's standing right there. Yeah, what, what do you say? I'd probably distance myself a little bit more so you don't look suspicious in a bush with me standing next to you. Like, if you and I were both, like, side by side staring at a bush, like, <laughs> it'd probably come Looking over like again. right here, yeah. <laughs> like, but, like, if you're in the bush and I'm back here, like... No, she, I mean, at this point, she's walked, like, halfway back. Like, she's not over there anymore. It would be weird if he was looking okay. into the bush, too. <laughs> I was peeing in there. I see. <laughs> Looks Why healthy. I see there. <laughs> so continue, guys. Go ahead. You need more water. Uh, she walks up silently, though. It won't, won't say anything. Still looks confused. To me or to the... Yeah, towards you. Oh, okay, okay. So away from the bush. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so... <laughs> What was really like, in there. like, like, crying happy tears, or maybe oh my gosh, we're gonna you meet you, <laughs> or it's a hallucination. <laughs> you might think it's a hallucination, so it's reminding you of Ophios's death. Those are like, you know, oh, I know, I'm already thinking those things. Yeah, okay, they're just waiting for him to talk first. 
So what was in there? Really in there? Uh, I mean, if I told you, you might not believe me. But I mean, I, I don't know, I guess don't worry about it. You okay? Yeah, what do you, what do you mean? Insight? <laughs> oh. No. <laughs> you see, you see right through her, dude. You know exactly. Yep. Mm -hmm. She's lying. There was definitely something in there, wasn't it? They said it was snake tracks. Is there, is there another snake following us? One like Ophios? Uh, I mean... Is it Ophelia? No. No. She talks so loud. I, I don't know. I, mm, it can't be. It can't be. Well, there was more than one, right? Or more than two? Uh, no. Just, just one. No, I meant there's there's more than two snake people. I mean, I've only met oh, two. Oh, There's a whole race of them, right? I mean... Maybe shorts, maybe... Was it one of them? I mean, yeah. You're probably right. Maybe it was Ophelia. Well, that's good news? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, they're gone now, so it doesn't really matter. No, they're probably still following us. There's no way they just, by chance, ran into one of them out here, so. Be careful. They're probably yeah. on our side, but if they see us with the commander here, they might think otherwise. If they don't know. Another player in the games. I'm gonna go play cards. You, uh, you can join us if you'd like. No, I, that's okay. I think I'm just gonna take it easy. Sure, good idea. <clears throat> and I'm gonna go win some gold. Uh, what time of day is it? Or it was, was evening, it? this is camp time. Late evening or like early? it was just turning into night? Uh, late evening. Um, it, it, it was evening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say it, like it's it's dark. It's darker now, but these are parents, so it didn't really matter to them. Okay. Um, I'm gonna wait until it gets uh pretty like pretty late, and where I feel most people have like gone to sleep by then. Uh, and she's actually gonna go a little bit away from camp. Okay. Um, you're gonna try to slip away without them noticing, I imagine. Yeah. So it's going to be a stealth check from you. Okay. Come on. <laughs> what is this? Uh, requirement for a luck time. <clears throat> oh, 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 what, 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 Your new power. Oh. Oh, yeah. It's a dexterity check. You have a superiority die and you have a luck die. It's a yes. It's a 1d8. My Hang God, you, you can both, get up to a, a plus 12? That's crazy. Yeah. Minimum plus one, two. You know. She's going to roll one to be angry. Oh, not bad. It's a 14. That's a 14. 14. Do you want to luck it? Do you want to, you want to fuck it, luck it to make sure that you can get away without being noticed? <laughs> okay. A solid 15. 15. 15. There's definitely nobody with above 15. Um, uh, with, uh, or, or, yeah, 15 <clears> would be <throat> the DC that you need to hit. There's nobody above that, so you're good. Um, you're nice. able to just sneak away. Can I find, uh, like his tracks? Oh, that's a different conversation entirely. That's a stealth, sorry, it's a survival, survival? check. Mm hmm You, you can kind of guess which way he went off. Oh, come on. Okay. I was going to flop over to that one. It didn't. 
Are you I thought it was going to stick on that 19. That's what I thought. Yeah. Um, uh, it looked like I had some momentum to it. Uh, are you going to, um, uh, uh, be happy with your 14 there? Uh, a 17 finds the tracks. A 14 did not. So that okay. was not a wasted die. A 17 cool. finds the tracks. You do. Snake tracks are notoriously hard to find, but mm -hmm. a large snake will leave a track. Yeah. And I mean, she knows what she's looking for in this case. Mm -hmm. Yep. You find the track. You're able to go and follow it. I mean, are you able to follow it forever? No, but you can get you to the general vicinity, away from the camp and closer to where he would be. So again, it's not like you're going to follow straight up to exactly where it is. These things are... You can find it because you knew where to look. You can follow it for a bit, but it eventually just gets hard to follow, especially as other animals would be passing over the tracks over the course of the couple of hours that pass between A and B, right? She's not mm -hmm. exactly a master tracker. But you know you're close wherever you are. You have a gap between you and the camp, and you're close. What do you do? <gasps> uh, she. I mean, she'd look around mostly. I guess I had real perception for that. Sure, look before you do anything, uh, before you call. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. It would be a disadvantage because he sleeps in snake form, but his clothes are there, so that's a Scott I'll roll, question. I'll roll deception, or <laughs> deception. Disadvantage Scott, perception. Clothes are there, but he's he's still in snake form, so clothes could be found. It's a question of what I you gotcha. said, eight DC and everything. What's with these 14s? They're haunting me. Honestly, that was a really good uh, perception disadvantage, though. <laughs> Yeah. A 19 and a 14 is pretty darn good. Are you happy with your 14? Or are you going to try to modify that one as well? Uh, I mean, I could. I guess there's not really. There's yeah, there's nothing luck. in there. It's fine. Fail! I love mm -hmm. watching that happen. It makes me happy. It's okay. Uh, fail! All right, so, so she sees nothing. Yeah, you, you. No, that's not true, actually. With your 14, um, uh, it's one of those things where you're walking around for a bit and you're like, I know Ophios. He's here somewhere. I can tell. I can tell by the place that we, yeah, where we let you kind of like walk around and looking. I can tell by this placement. I can tell by this, this area. This is a place where Ophios would stay. This is a place where he'd find this, uh, a comfortable spot to strip and hide his clothes. Like he always does. You can't find him. But you know he's around here somewhere. Or at least you think that this is an area where he would be. Um. Then she would wait. She wouldn't go any further. Okay. You just kind of sit down? Yeah. And just kind of wait to see if he showed up again. He's sleeping. And that, Huh? He's sleeping. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, this whole time, why is she like... Sh sleep if I hear rustling or anything, Scott? I mean, she's pretty quiet, and she's intentionally being quiet. If she was just, yeah. like, stomping around, it'd be a different conversation, but she's trying to be quiet. Right. What do you do, Rita? Uh, while she, I mean, she's she's sitting there just waiting, but she's not really sure what she's waiting for. That during that time, though, like while she's just kind of sitting in the the dark, um, she keeps thinking back, and she's like, "Is that was that really him? Is that me? I mean, this looks like something of his, but I don't. That's impossible. That's impossible." She's talking to herself at this point a little bit, and like, I, I, like. You know, looking up every once in a while and looking around just to see, or really listening, like listening super closely, see if she can hear anything, but nothing. And she gets continuously like more and more frustrated. Just eventually, you know, she she goes through this kind of cycle and sits out there for I'd say probably a couple hours, like easily two hours, three hours, maybe pass by, uh, almost to like the fourth hour or something. She's like, "This is crazy. I don't." He's dead. There's no, there's no way. I'm making this up. I should just go back. And she'll actually, she'll go to head back um, towards the camp at that point. She gets up, starts making her way quietly back to camp. Stealth check. Uh, normal. At least now this time, if they notice, she can be like, I was taking a shit. <sighs> yeah. Is it normal? Um. Uh, yes, 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 yes. It's a pretty good, it's a pretty good check. Yeah. Um, you make your way back into camp, and the only person that noticed you missing was Elijah. I mean, you guys 
Granted, not cuddling by any stretch of the imagination, but we'd be sharing a tent because it's easier to keep track of the two of you with you being closer together. Um, I imagine he heard you leave the tent at one point. He kind of felt your presence missing. You're both on edge, so sleeping is not exactly the easiest thing for you. Ophios gets away with some pretty deep sleep because he is chasing you on foot <laughs> as you guys are riding horses. Um, but uh, um, he'd be awake noticing that you were gone. Probably only just woke up very recently. Maybe it was even just your returning that woke him. I guess she, if she's re-entering the tent, she would just go to sit down or, or lie down or whatever, however early in the morning it was. I'm trying to think of how unusual this would be, because it's not like I, if I went camping, I wouldn't ask someone where they were every single time they entered and left a tent. Well, especially if you, like, had been asleep and that's what woke you up. Would that have woken you up, or were you already awake? I'd probably give um, him the it... line um, marking the territory. <laughs> what a good line, yeah. Um, he'd probably just be waking up, yeah. He honestly will, probably wouldn't care too much about where you were five minutes ago in the woods. Because, uh, you know what? No, he he would say um he would say uh as as you were coming back in um uh, oh good morning good morning you're up early you're returning yeah, did you I find something uh what did you find the person following us? No. She'll say pretty sadly. Okay. Then they must be very good at hiding. Probably a good thing. I'm sure they're just waiting for us to reach our destination before they do whatever it is they're going to do. Yeah, it's uh, probably for the best. We just move on. Yeah, I think calling attention to it and searching it out might lead to issues for us. Yeah. Whatever their mission is, I think we should leave them be for now. Chill nod. Rena, um, you know Ophios is dead, right? I need... Reminding, she just the way, like starts the way you kind of acting. raising her voice a bit. The way you were acting last night when we saw the bush and you approached it, it seemed as if you were hopeful. Listen, I know he's dead, all right? You don't need to bring it up. I understand. Okay. okay. I'm just staying alert. Sometimes it's hard to hear it. All right. I'll, um, I saw it. Is that what you want to talk about? No, 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 not now. Look, something's following us, right? We found that camp. We see the snake trails, right? So, maybe he had friends we didn't know about, but it's not him. That's all. We both know that. I know. Okay. Well, I gotta go use my own bush. Um, I'll come back in a few. Um, I hope we leave soon. Okay, bye. <laughs> she won't respond if you go out. She'll just sit there. <clears throat> Time passes. Sun rises. I pee. And you leave. You follow. Survival check. <clears throat> Quick break. <laughs> and uh, lastly, the uh, what you call it check. The what you call it check? Oh. And Rena, would you like to take a break? Yes. <laughs> okay. Then why don't we take one? And we'll come back as you guys are approaching the river. That brings you to... The gate. Oh. 
Oh, bum, bum. I, I, I totally would have put on Mycin's voice for that, but I disabled the thing to try to fix a static <laughs> thing that won't go away, so maybe I should turn I it back on. Just pretend. Yeah. yeah. All right. Be right back.